Now we don't want to go to the forest and crash it in the trees. There are more technical and in-depth reviews on the Ruko F11 Mini. This is us just testing it out and having some fun. In this video, I'm just gonna showcase us uh, trying to fly this drone and not crash it. So my name's Eric, I make outdoor adventure family content. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's a great way to support the channel. In this video, I'm just going over the Ruko F11 Mini. It's a 4K drone and uh, yeah, we're just learning to fly it. I'm glad the boys are able to help me figure this out. And uh, there's a link below in the description if you're interested in uh, grabbing a pretty affordable drone, $300. I know like some of the DJI models and some of their drones are um, definitely a little bit more expensive price point. So this one's a little bit more affordable. I'm gonna keep using it and uh, hopefully add it into some of the content. Drone life. Or we'll crash it before we get to use it. <laughs> hopefully not. Uh, show you what that looks like. We're here in the interior of BC at Kootenai Lake. And uh, here's the drone, check it out. The drones come with two batteries that last 28 minutes each, giving almost an hour of flight time. Got to uh, get it calibrated here, turn it on. Let's do a long press here. Short and then long. Yeah, I think that's okay. There we go, it's making that noise. Things will start spinning, so but, don't Well, so August, do you remember now? I took off the lens guard, yeah. Yeah, took off the lens guard. So did you, did, did you do these in order? You did them. Oh. Or is it that way, or is no, it this no, way? Yeah, it's Ah, it's this way. <laughs> okay, back up, Adia. Adia, can you move should from... I say, should I press calibration? Move your foot, move your foot. Should I press calibration? Sure, move your feet. August is going to fly. I it left up. Press up once. Oh, so guys, back away a little bit. And then August, you go straight up. All right. So don't go into the trees. Okay, remember? Go up a little higher so you don't hit anybody. Right. We haven't crashed it yet. This is our second flight. I'm pretty stoked on this. I'm getting a little better each time I do it. Uh, I need to continue reading the manual, but uh, I'm stoked that uh, I have a drone in my arsenal now. Gonna just figure out some more of those like automatic GPS uh, settings. It shoots 4K, 25 frames per second. Each battery runs for 28 minutes, so you get 56 minutes of flight time out of it. It comes in the box. But yeah, if you're after having some fun, want to muck around with a drone with a 4K camera, um, I'll leave a link below in the description. It is an affiliate link. It's pretty fun for the boys to be able to learn how to fly a drone. Check it out. I think they'll get better over it. with time. We'll just take it out maybe once or twice a week and try to improve our skills with it, and then maybe we can use it to document some canoe trip stuff or mountain biking and uh, get some of that footage, but press that home button. Stop there, press that, yeah. Uh -oh. Woo. <laughs> right. I was able to get some smooth footage, but because of my poor piloting efforts, I ended up getting uh, some jerky moments caught in the, in the video camera, and it's been proven to be challenging to be able to keep a smooth flight pattern and also control the pattern to kind of get the, the angles and the, the shots that I'd like. Ruko does have higher end drones with more stabilized footage, but I'm happy I get to practice with one of these for now. Don't fly over top of people over there, okay? Can I use sunglasses? No, August, look at your, look at, look at the thing here. See what, what you see now. Well, so you can kind of... Wait, do you put your sunglasses? You got your hand binoculars Okay, going. there. 